Welcome. In this video, we will explain how to use SFTP to write images over onto a computer. Before beginning the startup process, make sure you have a running SFTP server set up. If you do not have a server running, refer to the FAQ document for recommendations on setting one up locally. To begin the process, navigate to the Step 5, Finalize tab. Toggle the right image switch on to activate. A set of instructions display stating the device outputs are disabled. Click the link to enable the outputs in the device I.O. settings to begin the SFTP transfers. You are brought to the communication settings. Toggle the output switch and click the Apply button. Click the X to close the settings window. You are brought back to the finalized step. Under the right image heading, click the Server Pencil button to set up the connection. A new window will open. The server address should be the IP address of your SFTP server. If the server is hosted locally, this will be the same as the device's IP address that is hosting the server. The default SFTP port is 22, but you can change this if your organization uses a different port. When entering the file path, a forward slash is required at the start. In a default SFTP server, this will navigate to the root of the file system that was configured in the SFTP server. What the file path maps to is dependent on how your server and users were configured. The authorized user in this example was configured so that their home directory will map to the C drive. Within our C drive, we've created a folder called Snap Images, where we want images to save. So for the file path, we'll enter a forward slash followed by Snap Images. For more guidance, refer to SFTP standards documentation and consult your local IT team for their guidelines on setting up a server or authorized users. For both the username and password, you should use the authorized user credentials configured in the SFTP server. After all required information has been entered, click the Test Connection button. This will provide live feedback whether the server has connected successfully or not. In this case, we are connected to our server successfully. Now that the server has been set up, we can configure which images are saved in their file format. Under the Images to Transfer section, you will have the option to save all images, past images, or fail images. Note that failed images include fixture not found, ROI out of bounds, unclassified, no good, or if the app is untrained. For file type, you can select from three options, bitmap, PNG, or JPEG. Lastly, you will see a file name preview that contains information about the image file names you will be saving. The format for the file name is image capture date, timestamp, UTC offset, application being used, program slot number, and type of classification, OK, NG. Now that you are set up, click the Apply button, and the SFTP server will start saving images as they are acquired. Here you can see the images are being saved to the folder in the C drive that we mapped to earlier. Once we enter monitoring view, you can see a count of any SFTP errors in the bottom right. To stop saving images, return to step 5 finalize and toggle off the right image switch or disable the output toggle from the connection settings. If you're encountering SFTP errors, refer to the Insight Snap FAQ page for guidance. Thank you for watching. Thank <laughs> you.